to the grade 9. We are already done discussing direct variation and inverse variation in the first two weeks of our second quarter. At this moment, let us now proceed to the third type of variation which is the joint variation. First, let us define what a joint variation is. If y varies jointly as two variables x and z, this relation is called joint variation. In the equation form, it is written as y equals k x z, where k is called the constant of variation. Kagaya ng direct variation na y equals kx, ang joint variation ay halos kamukha ang equation. Yun nga lang, nadagdagan pa tayo ng isang variable meaning meron tayong additional values na gagamitin sa pagsasolve. Paano tayo nag -e express ng equation of variation ng joint variation? Let's say for example, S varies jointly as R and T. So ganito lang siya natin in express S equals K R T. Kasi nga, S ang nagvavary. Tapos constant natin yung K. So that is S equals K R T. What about N varies jointly as M and P? So, kung inyong mapapansin, capital letter yan. So, be careful. Dapat kung uh, lowercase letter or maliit na letter ang ginamit, ganun yung gagamitin natin sa ating equation. Kung malaki naman, malaki. So, this is written as N equals K M P. Last one, if G varies jointly as H and M, paano natin siya isisulat? It is written like this. G equals K H M. Let us have this first example. If y varies jointly as the product of x and z, and y equals 105 when x equals 5 and z equals 7, find y when x equals 9 and z equals 10. Kagaya ng add, direct variation at inverse variation, meron tayong 3 steps. Yun nga ang una, I express as equation of variation. Dahil y varies jointly as k, x, and z, kaya yan ang nakalagay. I-substitute ang value para sa step 2 at hanapin ang constant. Dinivide sa 35, kaya ang value ng k ay 3. At dito naman sa step 3, i-substitute pa rin ang pangalawang set ng values pati ang constant. Kaya nakuha natin dito ang sagot na 270. For our second example, if y varies jointly as the product of x and z, and y equals 1000 when x equals 10 and z equals 20, find y when x equals 8 and z equals 10. Again, we will follow the three-step procedure. Let us now perform the three-step solution. First, express as variation statement, we have y equals kxz. Step 2. Substitute the first set of values to find the value of the constant. 1000 equals k times 10 times 20. 10 times 20 equals 200. We will divide both sides by 200 and then we will get the value of k which is 5. And the last step is to substitute the obtained value of k and the second pair of values. y equals 5 times 8 times 10. y equals 40 times 10 or simply y equals 400. Example number 3. A varies jointly with L and W. When A equals 24, L equals 3, and W equals 2. Find A when L equals 12 and W equals 7. Here are our 3 step solutions. A equals KLW para sa step 1 dahil A varies jointly as L and W. Substitute natin ang 24, 3, at 2 bilang unang set ng values para mahanap ang K. K equals 4 at sa step 3 naman, isubstitute ng ating K at ang dalawa pang value sa pangalawang set. 4 times 12 times 7. 48 times 7, we have 335. So here are your practice exercises. If y varies jointly as x and z, and y equals 33 when x equals 9 and z equals 12, find y when x equals 16 and z equals 22. Number 2. 
if f varies jointly as g and the cube of h and f equals 200 when g equals 5 and h equals 4, find f when g equals 3 and h equals 6. Number 3, if a varies jointly as b and the square root of c and a equals 21 when b equals 5 and c equals 36, find a when b equals 9 and c equals 225. That would be all. Thank you.